top 25 matchup in the Galen Center. USC prevails with a 3-1 win over the Arizona Wildcats. I'm Anne-Marie Anderson alongside Tammy Blackburn. And Tammy, the newcomer to USC, Emily Baptista, was really effective offensively. She was getting a nice sets from the setter. And I tell you what, USC was distributing the ball very well. Lathero doing a nice job. Baptista taking advantage of it. We had talked about the composure of Bakken, but Baptista's numbers were absolutely stellar. 15 kills. She hit 464. She had two digs. I really like this USC team. I like Bakken, but Baptista was right there and several other players for them. You can see the shot selection of Bakken. She really mixes up things. Her numbers, too, were equally impressive. 19 kills. She hit four. 32. I will tell you, the women of Troy, as they continue to build, will be special. And Candace Denny, she was moved to the opposite, really made an impact. 292, 11 kills, only four errors. Yeah, she she had a great, great match. Candace Denny was, you know, leaned upon in the absence of Kendra Dalkey. Katie Smoot had to come in, and she had to do some things as a team that is banged up, but they gave just about everything that they could give given the situation that they have. Katie Smoot came in with a good mindset. I think that her her moxie that she played with, her fierceness, that angry uh, description that you called it, I absolutely love it. But at the end of the day, it was the women of Troy 3-1 to one in an all-around great match. Yeah, 10 blocks by USC. Four of them in the third set really is the moment that was the turning point. USC sweeps the Arizona schools at home.